Canadian Rockies, a place so beautiful that it's on every traveler's bucket list. Ever since we visited the place last summer, we always wanted to come back and see what this place has to offer during the winters. And we were glad that we made the decision to come here during the peak of its winter glory. our journey from Calgary in the morning. The weather was chilly, with a temperature of minus 28 degrees Celsius. The somewhat cloudy skies quickly turned to hazy as we entered the mountains. The strong dust of wind blowing the powdery snow on the highway were creating an illusion of flying up in the clouds. After about an hour and a half drive, we arrived at Canmore, a beautiful town nestled between the rocky mountains of Kananaskis country and our base for the next three nights. The town is conveniently located about 15 minutes from Banff and an hour drive from Lake Louise. We stayed at base camp resorts. Guys, they have an open hot water pool with some of the most amazing views. More on that later, but first look at their parking lot. This definitely deserves the title of most picturesque parking lot in Canada, if not the entire world. After check-in, we had our lunch at Community Cafe. You should definitely check out this place for some healthy options and amazing teas. we headed to Johnson Canyon to see some frozen waterfalls. Yes, you heard that right. The temperatures during winters are so low and consistently below the freezing point that the waterfalls freeze and turn into ice. It's about a two hour hike to the lower and upper waterfalls through a winter wonderland. We highly recommend putting on ice cleats under your shoes as the snow on the hike can be pretty packed and could be slippery. You can still see and hear the water moving underneath the ice, which is so cool. we were greeted by a clear morning. It was a little cloudy, but not foggy. So we walked around the town of Canmore to absorb the beautiful scenery of surrounding mountains. After grabbing some waffles and hot chocolate for breakfast, we started our journey towards Lake Louise, where we had a reservation for afternoon tea at Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. you're liking the video. If you are, 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब It was a clear morning, quickly turned hazy as we ventured further into the mountains. And by the time we reached Lake Louise, it was already snowing. We weren't complaining as the drive through the snow-clad forest was totally worth it. inside the chateau was festive with christmas decorations all around we were seated at our table overlooking the lake louise i know i know the weather played a little spoil sport here as the view of the lake and the surrounding mountains was not entirely clear but it was still beautiful We were entertained with some champagne and an elaborate arrangement of sweet and savory bites, followed by our choice of tea. We really enjoyed the luxurious and mouth-watering experience. After the tea, we ventured out to spend some time on the frozen lake. Here, we also visited the coldest and coolest bar in Canada, the Ice Bar, and had a Bailey's hot chocolate to warm ourselves up. headed back to Banff to spend some time walking around the town and grab some dinner. The whole town was covered with Christmas lights and decorations and looked so beautiful.
The next morning was a little less chilly at only minus 10 degrees Celsius. Perfect weather to enjoy the hot pool. Guys, this was such a memorable experience. Look at this view. This was the clearest of all days, so we wanted to explore as much as possible during the limited daylight hours. We headed straight to Banff, followed by Lake Louise to capture what we missed on the previous days due to the foggy weather. of sunlight reflecting from the white snow-clad peaks. It was too good. The weather around Lake Louise was clear and a lot of people had come out for ice skating or to walk on the frozen lake and enjoy the scenery. Finally we headed towards one final spot before calling it a day, Peter Lake. The Peter Lake lookout spot is easy to miss and about 15 minutes drive from Lake Louise. It was already getting dark when we reached the parking lot and it was a good 15 minutes hike through the dense forest to the lookout point. It was kind of scary because it was getting dark and there was literally no one else on the trail, but we persisted and the views of the lookout were amazing and totally worth it. Also, we found some company on our way back. Next morning, we checked out of our hotel at Canmore and made one final trip to Banff to bid adieu to this beautiful place. Until next time.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.